Canada is definitely my home now, but it took a very long time, a very long time. I would say about almost 20 years, um, 15 years for sure. <laughs> and my home was, in my mind, my home was in Austria. That's where I come from. I miss the flowers, I miss the mountains. I think there was, I miss, I miss most of that. Not so much, not even so much the people, except my mother. Yeah, I miss my mother very much. I think Canada became home when I discovered the flora of Canada. I'd never seen a native flower in Montreal, like, you know, a, a wildflower. You know, the real countryside, that what I'm used to from at home, and I didn't see that in Montreal, and I, I was missing it. There was nothing here for me. All the flowers were different. <laughs> it's in home, at home, naturally, you go outside, you go in the country, and there are meadows of flowers, I mean wildflowers in bloom, starting with the daffodils, wild daffodils in the spring, and primroses, and you know? It, it almost, it's almost a feeling of country here, because all the front yards are gardens, and there's everything in there. There are trees in there, there are shrubs in there, there are uh, wildflowers in there, I noticed. When you walk down the street, it's amazing. And now when I go home, I enjoy it immensely, but I don't think I would want to live there anymore. It's a different mindset. You are definitely tied to the land. That's, that's amazing, yeah, I've learned that. Definitely.